Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different. Obviously, I'm actually physically recording something instead of just doing a screencast. So, um, today's video is a celebration of reaching 1,000 subscribers. Um, I want to do something a little special, um, a little different than what I normally do. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of a desk tour to show you guys, you know, my standard setup um, at my desk. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this and uh, thank you guys so much for making 1,000 subscribers possible let's 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 keep going let's keep it up i'm gonna keep making videos and i hope you guys keep enjoying them so first off i just wanted to show you guys my like daily desk setup i have a few different setups depending on what i'm doing but this is like my daily setup so you'll see here i have my <coughs> my monitor it's just a dell monitor i just got um from someone i think they were getting rid of it um and I got a Model M keyboard. This is what I use. Um, pretty standard. I got this about a year ago. Um, I've always been a big keyboard fanatic, huge fan of keyboards. Um, it's one of those hobbies that's uh, kind of expensive, but, uh, you know, I uh, still really enjoy keyboards. I like the way they feel, like the way, the way they, they look, and, um, you know, something I use every day. You know, I, you know, you got to pick something you like. You know, I'm not going to use a crappy keyboard every day. You know, I, I use this all day long, so it's worth it to get one that's that works for me. Um, I also have this mouse here, which I kind of got because it fits the whole retro theme. Um, it is a... I can't even remember the company, honestly. Uh, that's the model number on it, though. It's like XG... I don't know if I can get it to focus. Let's see if it'll focus. It doesn't like that. Well, anyways, the model number is XGM4RGB. <laughs> I think it's like Extrify, X-T-R-F-Y-E. Uh, I think that's the name of the company. But anyway, so yeah, that's my mouse. Um, this one I use pretty much all the time here. Um, but uh, one of my other keyboards that I use, actually the keyboard I use for most of the tutorials, um, because you don't, if I was using that keyboard during the tutorials, you guys wouldn't be able to hear me talking, because it's, I don't know, if you've never heard the Model M, it's really loud. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't use that for videos. It would just be too much. <laughs> I actually just use a little crappy membrane keyboard. Honestly, of all the um, membrane keyboards I've ever had, I thought this one would be crap, but it actually works really well. Um, I, some, I like it for some reason um, a lot. I don't, you know, couldn't explain why. Um, but it's quieter. It works a lot better for tutorials. So that's what I use for tutorials. Um... Then I have this other keyboard that, uh, this is a Cherry uh, MX Blue keyboard. Um, this was actually one of my first keyboards that I got that wasn't just a standard membrane keyboard. Um, it originally had different keycaps on it. It had like a typewriter style keycap. And then I uh, got some of these SA keycaps that I thought looked really nice um, from, I think I got it from drop.com. It used to be Mass Drop. Now it's just Drop. Um, so that's where I got the keycaps at. And I actually have some dampeners on these blues um, to make them a little bit quieter. They're still loud. Um, I tend to use these. I, I'll switch back and forth between my IBM and this, depending on um, what I'm feeling. So typically for gaming, I know <laughs> blues aren't great for gaming, but um, there's a little less activation force on the blues than there are on the IBM. The IBM is about 70 grams of force. This is about 50 grams of force. So when gaming, I, get, I can get pretty tired um, pressing on the Model M, so... I'll use this instead. Um, but anyway, so that's those are my keyboards. That's what I, I use for keyboards uh, normally. Uh, then I got my mic over here. Um, it's just a blue uh, Snowball. Nothing crazy. I used to have a blue Yeti, and then over time it just stopped working. So I've been using the Snowball for a while now. And uh, the actual setup I use when I'm recording the videos is I have the microphone right in between me and the screen. Um, and I have that smaller keyboard right here, which sits in front of the mic. Um, but when I'm not using the mic, I just put it off to the side there. Uh, you'll see I have a couple of Raspberry Pis. I think this is a Model 2B. This is a Model 3B. And then I actually have the, um, the Raspberry. This looks like a keyboard, but it's the Raspberry Pi 400, which came out recently, um, which is like an all-in-one uh, computer, like the... This is a computer, a keyboard, and then the mouse is over there. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's my um, that's my setup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and 
Um, I, I plan to have um, some more Encurses tutorial tutorials coming out soon. Um, probably one within the next couple days or you know a day after this video comes out actually. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for your, all your support and um, you know help on the channel. I really appreciate it and uh, you know look forward to some more content. Let's keep let's keep this going.